All right, adding pages to your new site. So when we start, this is our title or our home page. So I'm going to just drop in home there so we can clearly see the names of the pages. Um, we don't notice any other additional pages. There's nothing obvious here on how to do that. It's this little tab up here. On the right-hand side, you have your content tab. We're going to go to pages. We're going to see just the page that we named home a second ago, and it indicates that it is the home page. When people come to your website by typing in that address that we did in step one, they'll come to this page. We can change which page is our home landing page in a sec. So down here is our new page tool. So we're going to add another section, and we're going to call this unit one. And done. So when we add a new page, it pops up. Notice that we can change the header type, and we'll go with title only on this one. Makes it a little thinner. Notice it started to build a menu up here for us. Okay. If I want to switch back to working on my home page, I can come over here and click on it, or I can click on it in the menu here. Notice that the stylized um, way the page is changes based on which one you are on. So this was just the header only. Okay. So that's adding a page. Very simple. It's just clicking down here, pops up a little box, you type the name of the page. But eventually, if you put those in here, you're going to have a string going all the way across to way too many pages. So at some point, you want to nest pages under pages. So maybe in Unit 1, there's four chapters. So we're going to click on this here. We're going to say Create a Subpage. And we're going to call it Chapter 1. All right, so notice it doesn't show up. It shows up over here on the side, but it doesn't show up over here. To do that, I have to click on this unit one. So now we can put in, or chapter one, excuse me. So now we'll click create subpage and call it chapter two. All right, so now we have two subpages of unit one. When I click over here, we have two. And again, we can customize each of these. So maybe this one's a large banner because chapter two is going to have a really cool graphic having to do with the content. Okay, all of these pages, that heading is different. Okay, it'll start with um, default, and you have to change it from there. The default not being your home page, the default being whatever the theme default is. Okay, as of this week, um, the end of October, you can actually now create sub pages of sub pages, which you couldn't do previously. You can go five levels deep now. So we'll call this chapter two test. Okay, so you can have subpages of subpages now. And the last thing to tell you about adding and organizing pages is that you can um, duplicate a page. So it's a good way to create a template page that you want to use for the rest of the site is to create it and then just click duplicate, and duplicate, duplicate. You can rename pages. You can hide a page from navigation, which means the people who go to your site won't be able to find it, but it's still available on the internet if somebody knows the exact address or bookmarks it. Um, so that's useful for kind of creating hidden pages right now that um, are for the administrator of the site, but not for other people to see. Okay, and then you can change which page acts as your home page. All those options are from the little three dots menu when you click on a page. What isn't in that menu is move page. To move a page, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take that page and drag it and drop it where you want to move it to and it moves it to that level. So I moved it out from under chapter two, under unit one thing, and it, it moved. If I want to move it back into chapter two, I click and hold down on the button, drag, drop, it reorders it. So you can instantly reorder your pages, and that is page creation and organization.